guys, it is me, Siri and Sargo Imagey, as I said, if I and today is another one of them rants, because YouTube decided to do something stupid yet again. Ugh, why? Just, it, 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 it doesn't make sense. Just, it doesn't add up. Why? Why, YouTube? Why would you do this? This is so stupid. Just get your head up your butt. Ugh. Seriously, someone, I don't know. But yes, I'm gonna be ranting about this new thing that YouTube has decided to do, and uh, hence why people are seeing right now hashtag YouTube is over party yet again. Okay, the last time you guys saw it, it was over the whole like new community guidelines. Um, yeah, I mean, it's really, really stupid. I'm gonna go ahead and find this one tweet um, that basically will explain it all. Um, yeah, it'll definitely explain it real good because I'm pretty sure everyone is pissed off about this particular event. <laughs> yeah, but. Okay, so YouTube has decided to put this new thing and how I found this out, um, of course I found that the whole hashtag YouTube is over party again earlier today. But I, but I heard about this yesterday. I was gonna make a rant, but I totally didn't think about it after. Be well, plus I was busy, so I couldn't really hitch in the time to do that. Mm. But yeah, but how I found out was that I found a tweet from Pop from an account called Pop Crave on like timeline on Twitter, and um, basically they said. And I'll go ahead and post you the pictures for the tweet so you, you don't know exactly, so that you know exactly what you're saying and what exactly I'm talking about. No. Okay. So, first thing YouTube's new restricted mode prevents viewers from seeing any LGBT content on the platform. Basically, they put this new restricted mode so that you can't see anything that has to deal with, like, bisexual people, lesbians, or gays, you can't see that. Oh, and then another tweet um, from them, also, it says, Restricted Mope does not show any videos, any videos, with anything LGBT related in its title and blocks out any openly gay YouTubers from suggestions. So basically, there are, there are popular openly gay YouTubers, such as, like, Tyler Oakley or something. I don't really watch those, but... But, like, for real. So, you can't see him on your suggestion. You can't see him when you type Tyler Oakley. You're probably gonna get a whole bunch of different videos. And it's history. It, it's so stupid. It's like... Okay, and of course later on they did post the hashtag YouTube is over party. It's currently trending worldwide following the implementation of their new restricted mode. And, I mean, so I'm going to go ahead and put my thoughts about this, uh, about this particular event that's happening. Yeah, honestly. And, uh, I mean, there's already two words, there's already maybe one word to describe it. Despicable or disgusting or disgraceful. No, it should be disgraceful, disgusting, despicable. If you guys see Thomas Tank Engine, you know, you know, Gordon says, uh, disgraceful, James says disgusting, and then Henry says despicable. Basically, all those three words might just be an understatement for what exactly YouTube is doing at this rate. It is so stupid. Okay, I have never been more pissed off over what YouTube is trying to do, especially towards like people who are openly who are openly bisexual, openly gay or something. You can't see their stuff when you type their names in. I don't know if there's if there's other YouTubers out there who are act who are openly gay in that. I don't know. And if you know, let me know in the comment section if I'm missing anyone. The only example, the only popular example that comes up in my head is Tyler Oakley, and 
You see, I guess a lot of you guys probably think I'm living under a rock. But I will admit, I 100, I mean, I may be straight personally, I, I may be straight personally, but I 100% support the, support the, the openly gay bisexual community. I, I, I personally, I am perfectly, I'm 100% for that. And I think it's a great thing for people to, to, to get to open up to these kind of things. And then when you see YouTube decide to pull, to pull the rug from out from under, and basically, they're basically being homophobics. Ain't that sad? I think it is very sad. And la I think it was last year, yeah, I think it was last year, when finally, when the whole, like, when, when, like, pretty much, um, when the bill, I think it was a bill or something that passed saying that, that finally that, I mean, that the LGBTQ community is finally, you know, they are finally free to roam around or something like that, and people get to fully express themselves. Um, I'm not explaining this very well, sorry, but yeah, but when Obama was president, I mean, everybody marked out, myself included, you know, not any of that, but still. But I personally very support it very much. So, to see that YouTube has decided to pull out the rug from under, that's basically a giant leap backwards. Okay, that is a giant leap backwards. And it is nothing but disgusting, and it's horrible. And I feel bad, I feel horribly bad for all of these openly gay YouTubers who were now possibly affected by this. Uh, so, I mean, it's just it's just so sad to see what YouTube is trying to do. Why, YouTube, why? I'm just, this is so stupid. I can't believe why they do this and they want to just, I mean, and they think that, that being openly gay or something like that is not kid friendly. You see, this is their whole, like, continuing to make YouTube more kid-friendly. I'm pretty sure there's a simple tip for trying to make YouTube more, I guess, more child-friendly. Parents need to do their jobs. Period. YouTube shouldn't have to do it. It should be up to the parents. And, but I mean, at some point, I think the parents are going to have to teach their kids that there are going to be gay people or not, and, and bisexuals. And that it's perfectly okay to, ex and it's perfectly okay. You have to learn to accept those people. I mean, you personally, I, I mean, just YouTube right is just outright homophobic. Okay. And then the funny thing is, last year they they posted a video saying that they that they supported the community. And then look what happened this year. That's a giant step backwards. And I hope it's not because of the whole Trump being president. Um. I know YouTube is probably gonna say, "Oh no, don't monetize this person because they because they, they're co going controversial." But I've heard, but I don't I don't do any making money on YouTube. None of that. To me, I don't I don't do that. But seriously, it's just I hope it's not just because of that because YouTube is supposed to be more of a it's supposed to be more of like a worldwide website for anyone in the world to access to. It's not just an American thing. It's everywhere. It's everywhere in the, around the world. It's around in Canada, around in the UK, and then like in Europe and Asia and South and South America and that. Just, but to see this sort of thing happen, just it is so stupid. I can't believe YouTube decides to to do this. I know I've said this 50 billion times, but this is. But I'm I'm disgusted what YouTube has decided to do, and I think. I mean, I think at this rate, I think YouTube is really trying to, I don't know, I'm, I'm so close to possibly just shading the heck out of YouTube. Just watch how that game plays, okay? I don't care what you say, okay? I don't care what they say. I will do whatever I want, and I'll support those people forever and ever and ever, <laughs> okay? That's just me. So, and if you don't, um, then, and... If you're someone who doesn't support that, please get off of this video because I have plenty of other videos for you guys to watch 
a lot of Let's Plays, okay? I mean, that's basically what my channel's mostly of, but I have to put this video up because I'm just pissed off that YouTube decided to do this. And normally, you don't see me discuss this kind of stuff very much. Of course, I don't think I've done it all. But, I think I have to put... I really have to be open with my students. I mean, I have to teach myself... <laughs> I can't talk. I have to teach myself that I have to be open with these opinions. <laughs> There's a hair in my mouth. Ugh. Or was it a fuzzy? Ugh. Oh, that was nasty. <laughs> but, see, I... I don't get what YouTube is trying to do these days. Stop! Stop it, YouTube! What are you doing? It's just, I, I, oh God, why? I, I don't get it. I'm sorry if I'm slapping my laptop 50 billion times. But th I think this is the pissery that YouTube decided to set in everyone. And, I, and if you guys follow me on Twitter, yeah, I've kind of been crazy retweeting these people who, who, who support this kind of thing because I because I do support it and and I and personally and um, it, it's just so sad to see YouTube decide to just play the kid friendly game. You know, there's a there's an app called YouTube Kids for a reason. So how about instead of being petty and problematic, how about you go watch, how about you watch some very, how about you watch some shows with some very valuable lessons like Thomas the Tank Engine. Wow, I totally just threw that under the boat. Or even, um, or, or even Theodore the Tugboat. I think that show is easily slept on. Ugh, why? Why is that show so, so slept on? But anyway. I think I've had enough ranting about this today, so I hope you guys, so I hope you guys got that info there. <laughs> so, and um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hope you guys have a good day, <laughs> baby. Hopefully, you guys will maybe if you agree with me, let me in the comment section. And I mean, it'd be great to hear anybody, any of my viewers who, any viewers who do. Who do support the saint? Who do support the the uh, the gay community and just all that? Just I I will see you guys next time. Bye guys! And I and I'm pretty sure it'll be a let's play. Okay, it'll be a let's play video. Bye guys.